Do you want to see prophecy fulfilled right before your eyes? Check this out. The pontiff prayed that the Creator God would infuse in our hearts a new generous spirit to abandon our individualisms and promote the common good. Now, does what the Pope just said remind you of something that was said 2,000 years ago that as students of prophecy we know is soon to be the method of attack against all obedient Christians? If not, notice what another man claiming to be a high priest said about his desire to kill Jesus Christ. In John 11, verse 50, he said, It is expedient for us that one man should die for the people and that the whole nation perish not. Soon, this long prophesied papal narrative of denying the individual rights of the people for the sake of the nation will be used against all obedient Christians who refuse to blaspheme the God of the Bible by obeying the Pope of Rome, who will soon use his global powers to demand everyone worship on Sundays so as to stop what he claims are disasters caused by climate change, when in fact the Bible said 2,000 years ago disasters and immorality will increase off the chart directly before Jesus returns. It has nothing to do with climate change. That's just his excuse to hide the fact Christ is coming. We are so close to our Lord's arrival that the Pope and all the many false prophets that he controls and all the so-called Protestant churches are lying to their people so as to keep the money flowing in their pockets, which in turn prevents billions from being ready for the return of Jesus Christ. Now yes, some of you may be laughing right now, but you cannot unhear what I just said. And so just wait a few short years and you will see just how accurate Christian prophecy truly is. I implore you to use the final days we have left to prepare ye the way of the Lord and make his paths straight. Thank you for watching. God bless.